always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials trading up three at 6.73. Nasdaq is up 157. S&P's up 78. Gold contract down $16, trading 17.68 an ounce. We have silver flat, $22.29 an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck and a half, $67.11 a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10-year note down nine ticks, trading 131.11. The 30-year flat at 163.31 and king dollar. King dollar is up 107 ticks, trading out at 96. 135 euro is 113 the yen's 113.16 and the british pound is trading at 132 to 1 us dollar our phone number is 877-927-6648 give us a call folks want to know what's going on in your world in the world of the s and p's let's take a look at them what do you have well we get volatility in spades we were talking about yesterday that you're going to see the s and p's up down all around 20 points in about a heartbeat Bottom line, what you're doing out here today, if we bring up the SPY, first we'll bring up the SPY, we'll take a look at the type of counter trend bounce that you're getting here. So we get the SPY up $7.70. Uh, bottom line, you get the contraction of volume happening. You can see how this thing shakes out. Okay, so the bottom line, the high the high in the SPY is out here at 473. You came down yesterday, you got down to a price point of 450. You did volume uh, yesterday of uh, 132 million. You're going up on 85. Bottom line, this can get right. This can this can hit the highs, but more than likely, I suspect what it's going to do is hit the lows of the highs, and we get this consolidation happening out here. That's the way it looks to me. If we take a look at the NDX 100, the three Qs. You get the same set type of setup. And set, it, what's interesting here is that the actual the three Qs are getting a little bit actually weaker than the S and P, and that the Qs are always the strongest. What we have with the Qs right now is that you got to lower price out here today. And you're actually rejecting lower price. So this being, uh, what is it, Thursday? Yes, being a Thursday, I suspect you're gonna. They, they, it'll go up a bit tomorrow. Volume will contract tomorrow. Bottom line, this is setting up for a test of the highs, back and down. And I expect that's exactly what's going to happen. What is pretty amazing out here today is this. If you take a look at Apple, Apple came out with a warning. They're, tell <laughs> they're telling everyone they're not selling as many phones, and Apple still didn't sell off. We went down to 157. It rejected 157. Uh, I suspect it'll finally smarten up. But the bottom line right now, it's rejecting lower price. We go to the gold contract. We take a look at the gold contract. Gold contract traded down to uh, 1762. You're trading uh, 1768 right now. You had 160,000 contracts. Now, you get big contract volume contracting in, inside the gold report. That's that's what this baby is, is doing right now. Uh, we only get 160,000 contracts. Uh, Friday, you uh, went south with 243,000. So that's what we need. And you're coming against the, a lower swing. The lower swing is 1761 in this contract we hit 1762 and let's go over to good old king dollar so we take a look at king dollar so we have a king dollar is this you're up 100 bucks 100 points rather and it looks like it's going to try to get a little bit higher again you know bottom line is still hanging at highs we hit the 96 938 97 was where the swing was uh bottom line you're up 111 points right now we go take a, let's go uh, actually let's go look at the small caps so we take a look at the small caps also iwm iwm's trading up five dollars and 70 cents let's see what we have here okay come on baby come on you're on you're off vacation you're gonna start working uh okay let me i w m come on baby get up here here we go okay so we take a look at the i w m oh yeah this is gonna this the i w m could be a huge a b c structure down man i mean the first leg is pretty big the i w m went from two forty four the high uh, to 213. So we'll see where that baby's going to shake out. Let's go to a John in Philly. John, what's going on, brother? I uh, I am just reveling in the good times you're having down there on the Keys with family. That's terrific. We did, and we just came in. We just came in from fishing like about an hour ago. We've been out there all day. We we didn't I do great, but we I didn't do it. bad. We 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 caught enough for supper. Let's put it that way, which is fabulous. <laughs> totally. Yeah, that's fabulous. Um, I just wanted to give a quick uh, call into regarding the E-mini S&P futures, the ESZ ones. Tom, yes. uh, long ago, 
on the TFNN website, you had what you call the confluence calculator. Right. Uh, let me just share with you the numbers I oh. plug in to that calculator that I keep on my own. The two highs for the S&P futures are 4740 and okay. then 4650 just yesterday. The low yep. is 4500. Tom, okay. the confluence range is 4591 to 4592, a one point spread. I've never seen confluence Ooh. that tight. And the bounce That's high nice. just an hour ago, Tom, was 4590. So I just share yep. that with you. Uh, wow. I'll take whatever uh, uh, comment you'd like to uh, to make off uh, off air, but uh, getting within one point of one point confluence range, I just uh, I can't help but think that might mean something. So uh, enjoy no, it your does. Time, it... And I'll listen yeah. off, off air. Okay, man. Have a great one, John. Have a safe one. So, folks, what happens with confluence is this. Now, this is really cool this, for a couple different reasons. Understanding what confluence is first, okay? So you're taking a 0.382 and a 0.618 off two different levels. What, what Z just did here, what John just did, he took, he took it off the high, which that's how you're supposed to do it, 4740. Then he took it off the high of yesterday, okay? So the kicker here, folks, is this. This is what's really cool about this. As John just said, there's a one-point differential, and that's basically hidden resistance on the way back up, and it gave it up. And what we've found is that when you have high volatility markets, Fibonacci is much more consistent. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.